Hi, I'm Minasan. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your Philly neighborhood nerd, and we are back with community. This is episode seven called Studies in Modern Movement. I'm curious if this will be a Brita or a Troy episode just because they do dance. But you know, again, this show takes you anywhere and everywhere. So we're just gonna have to see. <laughs> If you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon. There were at least three weeks ahead. And don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media. Let's go. <laughs> oh, is Annie packing? Glad you're moving out of this neighborhood, Annie. Some dude peed on my car while I was parking it. Oh, you met Spaghetti. Spaghetti. It's gonna be me living with Troy and Abed. There'll be a honeymoon phase, but won't be long till you hate their gut. Is she gonna live in the same apartment or in the same actual unit? Oh my god, I forgot. You're 20. Don't worry, it's natural. When you become oh my god. friends, the things you love about them become the things that make you want to smother them with a pillow. That's not always true. Are you tweeting? Everything. We're live tweeting Annie's move on Twitter. Hashtag Annie's move. How fun! <laughs> how was I supposed to know? We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Where's Winger? Sick. Shaw. Yeah, I'm calling him. Shaw. <laughs> is oh, uh-huh. And who is your primary care physician, Mr. Winger? Uh, Dr. Schroeder, S-C-H. Um, do you want to see my insurance card? Please. Wait, are you at a hospital? No. So funny. So that? That's not a heart monitor. Funny. It's a machine telling me I'm low on khakis. Dr. Tarpinian to I, I'm sorry, I just assumed. No. Everyone who's hating on Britta needs to stop. She's the smartest person in this show. <laughs> hating them. Man, children. Can't live with them, can't leave them alone with your tape. Britta, <laughs> make jokes. You're bad at it. <laughs> and everything is writing on this. And I'm out of I mean, no. All you have to do is just talk about boundaries and like. Make it all up. Live. Studies of modern movies. Okay. Do it. Going with the flow. It it will be good for her. A fun use you found for my bubble wrap. I know. We have to sell this to the military. Yeah, baby. So funny. Or she could easily just be like, hey, can you respect my things? And then... Oh, you broke my pluggy thing. No worries. Something for oh a magazine God. called Swimmer for Tea. Good for you, Shirley. What's the saying? If you can't stop them, judge them. Well, somebody's gotta be this with more compass. <laughs> that is, I've never heard that. Keep me company while I fix this and I'll give you a ride over there. <laughs> Stranger? Oh my God, the tea. What a coincidence, huh? He looks so normal. It's Saturday. Call me Craig. Off campus, I'm just a regular Joe. I love it! Oh yeah, you're probably heading to help Annie move, right? Oh no, is he gonna blackmail him? On Twitter. Looks like Annie's moving and you're sick at the hospital? He's going on a date! Especially if we're doing lunch. Oh dear! <laughs> Here you are. I can see the kindness in your faces. <laughs> I assume you've both accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Oh, that's nice. Uh. Oh. Yeah, buddy, you gotta stop. <gasps> He's gonna destroy her apartment. Of course, our bedroom. And if the rooms are rocking, please come and knock in because there's something probably terribly wrong. Yeah, we're pretty chill in there. Mm -hmm. Now let's go see your room. I love, at least she'll have her own room. Where? Is What's it on that? the, what? That is your room. You said this was a two bedroom. What do you think? Tweet it. Tweeting it. I would have hoped. Oh no. Annie. And what's that door over there? That's not a bedroom? No, oh, no, no, no. What is it? Siesta salad <laughs> and an iced tea. Ooh, where are we at? Oh yeah. I mean The gentleman oh. will have a top notch O's and a watermelon margarita. Unlike a certain someone. I just don't think I could lie to those sweet oh, people. Yeah. Just call me Craig. And call, call Craig. blackmail a day at the mall with Craig. <laughs> 
Adios, amores. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> eat, the, eat those chips, Dean. You know they're good. They're restaurant chips. <laughs> oh my god, I just cannot with him. I cannot. Is he gonna get trapped or something? This, this is actually quite calming. Well, it is a pleasure to have you in my car, Jesus. I know, I'm pretty. Hey, Jesus, <laughs> just curious, what's your position on marijuana? It was given to us by God. It should be legal. Oh, that's not. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Annie. Hi. Who was harassed every day by Count Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's sweet. I mean, they can be fun. It's just like, I think Annie just needs to be like, hey, I do need like some space and some privacy. But like, we can have family dinners and all that stuff. You know this one, Jeff. We've sang it a thousand times together in my mind. In my mind. Uh, uh, oh, come on, Jeffrey. Make or break time. Oh, no, not the heart. Oh, I bet now he, uh, he regrets. I bet you he did. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> it's song. I have too many emotions. This is taking me everywhere. <laughs> I love your roses in bloom. Here's the... Oh my god! <laughs> they were great. Uh, is he crying? Ah, <laughs> uh, good evening, Senator. Any requests? <laughs> That's the landlord. Jeez. I mean, no offense, but just I'd be scared. <laughs> I'd be intimidated if I was Annie. You read student emails? Oh, uh, well, now the Patriot Act says they can do it, Jeffrey, technically. Need I remind you the nation is at war? I need to. I don't think the Patriot Act. Not the funny, the duckling. I'll get more blankets. What on earth? This is a space we reserve for virtual adventures. Oh like my play, god. But it only works in our minds. We call it the Dreamatorium. The Dreamatorium. This is the Dreamatorium. Well, y'all are going to have to let Annie live in the Dreamatorium. I've been jumping through hoops to fit in, including the literal hoops you put in front of the toilet. Mm. And you guys are holding yeah. the second bedroom as some kind of playroom? Why mm. am I always the one that has to adapt? I'm sick mm -hmm. of this crap. Enjoy your stupid dreamatorium! I agree, but I wish you would have just talked to them about this earlier. This is our apartment too! And just because we're awesome doesn't mean we're not adults! He taps it too. He taps it too. So fucking funny. I need, can someone send me these candy cigarettes? That I'm gonna need to keep living alone. Hmm. Let's get you cleaned up. Oh, what the hell? I have brain damage. Nothing I do counts. <laughs> okay. Troy, Abed. They probably, they probably moved it. Oh, they gave her their room and they're gonna take the fort? We're sorry. Sometimes we get stuck in our own little world. Mm -hmm. And then in that world, we make even littler worlds. <laughs> Sometimes there are tunnels between those worlds. Yeah, yeah. Or subway. One time a snake. We're sorry. <laughs> I want to know the snake story. I mean, I can rearrange the throw pillows. You'll have them arranged by size instead of color, but... What did I say? But... What if... <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Jeff, did you know that when it snows, my eyes become large? And the light that you shine can't be seen. He tweeted me. Oh my god, I love the Dean so fucking much. <laughs> he is the man in the moon. He is. <laughs> He's gotten bigger. You probably put a stop to this, right? Jeff, are you? I liked horse spot three times. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> that was good. Oh, every season three has just been such a fun journey so far. It's just like I haven't been disappointed or like bored with any of of the episodes. Jeff got what he deserved. That's what you get. Your friends are important. You shouldn't just go to the mall. You can go to the mall the next day. Like, be a good friend. <laughs> and speaking of friends, uh, I'm really happy Troy and Ovid kind of took a second to think about it. I do, however, wish Annie would have just, like, talked. I mean, I get it. They're, like, those three are the youngest in the group. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're the youngest. So it's just, like, these kind of lessons you don't learn until you have had roommates. But, like, for any of you who are going to, like, start having roommates and everything, like, it's okay. And you can roommate with your friends. But, like, you have to be in a good place where you guys, like, can communicate really, really well about your expectations for your plays. And, like, just, like, have your boundaries. But, like, you know, like, there there is a bit of growth that needs to happen on both parts, too. Which happened with Annie and, um, and Troy and Ovid. Where Annie did need to loosen up just a little bit. Not, like, completely ignoring the crap they're doing to her, um, her, her, like, stuff or apartment or anything. But just, like, being, like, it's okay to just, like, let go a little bit. And she did. She did that... <laughs> That amazing puppet show. I'd be crying too if I was Jeff. <laughs> if I saw the whole story. Um, but Troy and Ovid also need to like learn like, you know, restraint and also thinking just like with the sound mind of just like, there's another bedroom. Like, come on. So I'm happy they were also willing to compromise and figure out something that works for for both parties and they're in their fam now which is great so um I love it I love I, I didn't realize when they first had brought up the idea of Annie moving in I didn't think it was like to her actual apartment I, or their apartment I thought it was like just the actual apartment complex but hey save some money whatever works works I would definitely spend a day with Craig I would definitely spend a day with Craig. I would do that. I would suck at it. I don't care. I Let's go get some food, listen to the mariachi band. That's actually kind of what me and my friend do. We just already go hang out and have a, like, friend date. So, <laughs> um, but this was good. I'm going to watch one more. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>